I remember living in New York and modeling wise, for me, I feel like in New York, in general, it's quite hard to work in New York. Yeah. That's something I feel like most models tend to feel that you go to New York, you might work quite a lot in Europe and you go to New York and you're like, why am I not working? This can be the case. And it has happened to me, but I was quite lucky when I moved there. I worked quite a lot straight away, um, but it's it's. I feel like it's famous for it. You might go there and do not do anything. Why? So some people say it's a hard market to get into, and once you do, you kind of it kind of unfolds. But why is it like? Is, is it more oversaturated with models as well? Yeah, like, that's. More... A, I don't know. I, or is... different standards? Do they like? Do they have actually different standards in different countries? Yeah. Or maybe different beauty standards? But, yeah. Is it, yeah. There's a lot of that, those things. I would say each country have a bit of their own thing. Um, and I don't know if in New York it's kind of like it's supposed to kind of be like the top like of all the cities New York is kind of like what a lot of people strive to get to because you need to get your work visa you need to like it's a hard process to actually manage to go there um, and I don't know if yeah if people are just super picky and the top top models are there so that the like the people you're competing with it's, it's hard you know uh, I don't know if that could be a reason or I never I actually don't know why it's been like this but it's kind of famous in a in way for it that you might go and you don't work for a while until you know you kind of get into it but it's in general I would say it's a bit more like glam not like this is when I used to live there and it's a while ago now but it was always like fake hair, fake nails, the lashes. It was a lot of these things, not always, mm. but it happened quite often on shoots. Whereas a place like London, I barely ever had any of that mm. on me on a shoot. And I remember feeling quite disconnected from it. So when I was shooting and I got all these glam, because I feel like in America, they are a bit more glam mm -hmm. in general. Like the aesthetic is a bit more <laughs> yeah. than a place like London. Uh, we're here it's a bit more not like grudgy but like you know a bit like natural grounded yeah I don't know what the yeah I yeah. don't know but there was something I really noticed and I started to feel disconnected from my work because I was in this like all these things and I didn't feel pretty like I was like this is not really how I want to be portrayed mm. as a model or like how I necessarily like to look on like and it you know it's fine if that's every now and then it can be really fun to just mm. get like crazy glam on and be like yeah let's do this mm. but if it's all the time and quite what people want i i just i really and when it's very different from real you yeah you kind of start start to feel like <laughs> so if they think this is pretty then probably this is not <laughs> yeah i don't know i i felt more like i just didn't connect with photos i was a bit like I don't know. Sometimes I did some amazing shoots in yeah. New York as well, so I'm not saying all of them. But there was definitely more of that and I really missed, because I remember shooting in London, I always loved most of the photos and the aesthetics and it was very, it's always very, it's always been quite scaled back in general, I would say, mm. in London, for, for, for example. And I remember going back to London and starting to shoot and work here and I was just like, yeah, now I actually enjoy and like I can, like the photos like are more in line with what i like mm -hmm. and that's also sometimes it's important i think i know yeah. we have to be able to do anything more mm -hmm. or less but it's also important to sometimes be like yeah i really like this i'm liking what i'm doing i can mm -hmm. vibe with this you know it's it's it goes both ways in general i love shooting in london because people are very welcoming and very lovely like not just in the way that like, oh, they give me lots of compliments. It's not like that. It's more like the connection that you get with people, I think, when you're on set. Because people are very open, I find. I know people say that British people are closed off, but I find them really open. Like it could be, I know that like, it's not that they enjoy saying negative things, but I quite like that sometimes that it's not just like, because in New York, people are very positive all the time and it's not really in the culture to talk about things that are not great. Mm -hmm. So everything is always really good there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and you kind of just have these shallow yeah. conversations all the time. And I love that. Sometimes I go to work in London and someone just says something like, I don't know, 
oh, my dog shit on my mat this morning. Sorry, I'm late or something. And I'm just like, yes, I love that. This is real. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I agree. Um, so that's been a big difference, I think, mm -hmm. with working. Which places there's like most money <laughs> for models? Um, I think people tend to say America. Mm -hmm. um, for me, I feel like both America and London, for me, is kind of been as good. Mm -hmm. I think both have a good rate. Mm -hmm. uh, but I know in America they tend to say it's a bit more. Mm -hmm. But I say that when because it's dollars. So when I live in London, yeah. you know, if I would go to work there, it kind of becomes like if you compare the rates like that, I mm -hmm. think it's about the same. Mm -hmm. um, but also you have obviously less tax in the US and the yeah. agency takes a bit less. So you kind of end up with a bit more in the end of the day. Um, but the rates, yeah, I would say New York or London, but to me, they're kind of equally mm -hmm. 